Darkness cannot overcome the light of God's presence. But are you walking in God's light? Let's talk about that. But first, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to touch that bell so that you will know when new videos are available. Let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. Psalm 119 verse 105 says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. This verse of scripture is well known. Like many in this chapter, it's a prayer addressed to God and it also focuses on the Bible. This verse particularly relates God's word to a lamp and a light that will guide our steps. How can I apply this verse of scripture? Or how can we apply this verse of scripture to our lives today? We have to ask ourselves this question. What is the word? John 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Verse 14 says, And the word was made flesh and dwell among us referencing Jesus Christ. So God is the word, the lamp unto our feet. That's why 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 and 17 reminds us that all scripture, the Bible, the word of God, is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instructions in righteousness. Why? that the people of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So the word of God is a necessity in our daily living. How bright your light shines is dependent on how closely you are walking with God. The phrase, God's word is a lamp unto my feet, is a metaphorical statement meant to emphasize the wisdom that comes from following God's instructions. A lamp, by implication, indicates just enough light for the immediate area and is defined as follows. To glisten, a candle, or a lamp. In contrast, the Hebrew definition of light is luminary, bright, clear, daylight, morning, or sun. The psalmist recognizes that God's word as a lamp will give sufficient light onto our feet with each step in our walk with the Lord, equipping us with what is necessary to walk without stumbling in sin. We will see in advance the hazard temptation by the lamp, thus avoid a fall. How do we activate this light? Through a relationship with God. But that is achieved through reading his words, prayer, and supplication before him. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You cannot walk in this dark world without the word of God tethered to your feet to lead and to guide you. The Bible is clear. That if we walk in the light, as he is the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from sin. So God is the word that lights our feet. If God's word is a lamp helping us to navigate the pathway of life, then we know God's word is intended to help us to live prosperously, not just in a financial manner, but having a peace of mind, knowing that the power of God is upon me. To live according to God's word is not as simplistic as rehearsing or reciting what the scripture says. Instead, to live by God's word means to design our life in a way that reflects his teachings. God's word illuminates the path of our lives. If we keep God's word shining along the way, then we will be far less likely to trip, to fall to the things of this dark world. 
but we have a guarantee in Jesus. As he said in John 8 verse 12, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. I'm Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Mana for Thought.